Actually, like, who do you lose business to? You know, it could be the, the New York Lifes of the world, or the Northwestern Mutuals, or the, or the Primericas, or the Transamerica World Financial Groups companies. How do I get over my poverty mindset? So here's really three things that I found that helps you break out of the poverty mindset, which is number one, is the books that you're reading. Actually, like, who do you lose business to? Yeah, who do you lose business to? So, you know, oftentimes people think that we lose business to the, to, to the big financial services firms, the big financial companies in the marketplace today in the, insur in the insurance industry. You know, it could be the, the New York Lives of the World or the Northwestern Mutuals or the, or the Primericas or the Transamerica World Financial Groups companies. And, and quite frankly, they're not even our greatest competitors because of the demographic of the marketplace we're going after, which is the multicultural middle class. Because they've been so overlooked, they've been so underserved, they've been so untapped, which leads me into a blue ocean, which means I have virtually no competition. I have virtually no disruption. I have virtually no innovation in an industry, which is a good and bad thing. So here are my three biggest competitors in my marketplace today, believe it or not. Number one, it's indecision of our marketplace. It's number two, excuses of our marketplace. And number three, it's procrastination in our marketplace. Notice it's not a company in our marketplace. So how do we fix it? Number one, we got to educate our marketplace. Because our marketplace has been so overlooked and underserved, not just for the last one, five, 10 years, but for generations. The second part about fixing the situation is helping them understand their options. That if they don't understand their options, certain consequences, good or bad, is going to happen. And the third thing, we want to make sure we coach people to have a do it now mentality, that they need to avoid procrastinating. You know, I've always gone across the 80% 80, 80 rule. If it's 80% good, if it makes sense to me 80% of the way, like it doesn't have to be 100% that I completely understand it of what I need to know to make a decision. And, and, and as I grow and I find ways to improve, the other 20%, I improve the second time I do something or the third time I do something, I improve the 80% of the 20%. And guess what happens? Over time, by, by the time I do something for the fourth time, by the time we help people do something, they have a lot more confidence. And guess what happens? Doing becomes more of a habit versus procrastinating. Hey man, how do I get over my poverty mindset? A poverty mindset, for me, and this is my own opinion of it, is driven to an extent where you constantly find yourself in a bad cycle going downward. A wealth building mindset is constantly challenging you and helping you evolve and grow. So here's really three things that I found that helps you break out of the poverty mindset, which is number one, is the books that you're reading. Now, there's a lot of people out there that after graduating high school has never read a book. And if they read a book, they haven't gotten past page, let's say 19, 20, or 21. And so what I love about books is that I can take 200, 300 pages of somebody's 15, 20 years of wisdom and experiences and condense it down into this book. Now, I may not always agree with the author, but it gives me an interesting perspective on how to approach a certain topic or category of my life. The second thing is the people that I'm around. If you are associating with people that are constantly challenging you and wanting to grow, if they're more folks that are bringing you down versus pushing you up, are they folks that are helping encourage and praise and recognize you for your efforts as small as that they may be. So I was like surrounding myself with people that's not always yes people, but always encouraging me and praising me and recognizing me for the things I do well. And number three is the meetings that I attend, the events that I go to. You know, we, we constantly go to conferences every 90 days. Just to constantly plug back in and recharge your batteries to the source, which is really the root reasons why we're in business to begin with, is to become financially free, is to, to, to create a better life. And so those three things, the books you read, the people you surround yourself with, and the means you intend will help you break loose of your poverty mindset. I hope that works.